Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to the final episode of the 12 Days of Building. And today, we're learning how to work from a reference. Let's go. So, I've already started here a little bit, as you can see, trying to get the basics laid out. And I'll tell you what my thought process was with this. So, I started off with about a 21 by 21 grid, somewhere around about here. And I was looking at it and it appeared to me that it looked like the walk up to the house was about two blocks wide and the little gap of dirt on the side as you can see in the picture down in the corner is about the same width so I went with that and decided to fill the most of the rest of it with the pavement leading up to the little garage here and honestly birchwood's the best for that kind of garage door it's nice and tan so I went with that then the way the door is, it's a big glass door, so I figured for Minecraft practicality, we would take out these two blocks so we could still walk in and out, but still t communicate the door. If you're in survival, maybe put in an actual door and some blocks here, you know, keep the zombies out. And they have a huge glass uh, window here, so decided to replicate that the best that I could. Nice and easy. And... Then the thing is, is that there's also this piece that sticks out in the front here. It's fairly thick. And the only thing is, is that it's dark. And we don't have a dark half slab. So Netherrack has got to do. And when I look at it, it appears to me that it's longer than it is wide. So I have it four wide and five long. And it has a little support pillar somewhere right about here. And it just starts to really add to it. Next, they have a few plants going throughout here, kind of, and honestly, that's really all it is to it. It's very, very simple here in the front. Now, they also have this piece above up here, and it's like a porch kind of right up here. So, I decided that it looks to me, at least, that it's a very, very open building. So, I decided to take a little bit of the iron bars and some glass and I just kind of went around here with this because it looks like they have a little bit of a framing on it and it's gray so we can't really use like a fence for it then if we bring this up by a little bit here I might take this down a little while like lower it by a block no I think that's about right then just fill this right on up with glass they have this big huge old window and we'll leave this for the practicality of Minecraft. If you guys are just building to make it look nice, fill her on up. And yeah, so something along these lines. Now, the next thing that they have is they have this very, very thin bit coming out over the top here. And it looks like black carpet is our best chance at copying it. If we just drop to the ground real quick, you can see, yeah, that's pretty similar. So... I'm going to fill this in with string and pop that on there, and I'll catch you guys back when I'm done. All right, as I continue to look at it, it looks like there's a bit that just comes off here, but in reality, when I look at it, I think it might actually be a second portion of the wall maybe coming out, but I think we'll need a half slab that goes upright to do that. So I think this is the best we can do, or maybe just leave it. So... I think this is looking pretty good to me. This looks very similar to it, but the only thing is, is that, well, this does not make a house. This layout does, though. So, I'm figuring out a garage. It's to hold a car. So, here's the garage door at this level right here. Car in meters, it's, well, a human is about almost two meters, 180 centimeters or something, or about five and a half, well, five foot eight or nine. So... That's to about here. Cars are longer than people by a good amount. So I would say that a car would probably go to here, and you want some space before and behind it, so this seems about the right size for a single car garage, which is what it looks like they have in the picture. So when you fill this on up, you have to decide how does this incorporate to the house. Is there a door going to it? How is it shaped? What is going on architecturally with this to make it all work? And I decided that by judging by the way it looks in that window in the front, or the open door, I'll fill that in in a little bit. You can see that it almost edges to the side a little bit. 
So I decided that maybe the room is shaped like this. And let me put in a few extra blocks to be able to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I think that this house has an angle going across right about here for this room. Because the hallway curves as you look down there. So I think it's something along these lines. And you're able to let's pop these in. And this is like to a big family room or something like that. Maybe this is where it goes to the garage. I don't know. But I figured that made sense. And maybe there's a room over here behind the kitchen. Because the kitchen stops a lot shorter than the hallway goes. So I figured that the kitchen must be something around here. Or the dining room that they have there. I can't tell which one it is. It might be both. So, and as you guys have probably been able to tell. I haven't dogmatically said this is what it is when it comes to the inside. You have to kind of figure it out, piece together from the clues you have, and figure out what's going on. So we're able to fill this in because we know that from our second story balcony, that this is about where they would be standing. So that must mean that this is the roof for down here. So from figuring out and looking at all the different things, you're able to figure out what the house would look like even though you don't have a photo for the inside. So. With these tips, you should be able to replicate what you can and piece together what you can't replicate. So I'm going to bring all these up to the, about where the second floor would be, and I'll catch you back when I'm done. All right, so I've continued to look at this balcony here, and there's something that's bothering me with it. So I've realized that this thing continues out to about in line with here, actually, with the glass, but the balcony itself stops short. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to copy that. So I was hoping that the carpet wouldn't pop. We're going to just fill this right on in on the way down. And that looks a lot more like what it is on top. Now, to be able to bring this back a little bit, I believe that this would go pretty much the length of the room back. But when you're building this, you need to figure out how do they get to the second story. Because while we've talked a lot about ladders and things like that, that makes a lot of sense for rustic builds. It makes no sense for a modern build. So you need to understand where the ladders are coming from, or the stairs in this case. And I believe it would actually be in here. The end of this hallway, you can't see it from the front door. It goes, instead you can see into this room. I believe there is probably another room back here. I think the stairs are here that leads up to the master bedroom. Which is what it appears to be to me. So... If we just grab this and bring it right on back, fill this in as we go so we have a solid floor, this gives us a bit of an idea of what we're working with. Now, there is one issue though. I've never seen stairs pop up in the middle of a room. It's always on the corner. So maybe our room would be like this, but then where is this glass looking into? This is the issue when you're doing something like this. It's difficult to figure out what's going on. So maybe it's this room over here, but it doesn't line up. If you look at the picture, there's a bit of an overhang a little bit. So I'm going to call it here because we're not going for perfection. We're going for a copy of the front and a guesstimation for the back of it. So this is the general idea. We're not going to be doing furniture because you guys have seen how to do furniture in this series and you guys can be able to put in anything you would need but it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna pop in the rest of this. We're gonna fill this up, fill in the top bit of this, and we're gonna talk about the last bits of detailing. All right? All right. All right, we are definitely getting there with this. So there's a few other things in the front that we haven't talked about yet. They have this little light sensor here. I believe it's like a motion sensor for the light. And so I think that iron bars communicate that fairly well. They also have this lip going around their garage, it appears. And I think that carpet is the right height for it, and it is gray. So, I mean, I think this looks nice. And I don't know if it goes across the entire thing, as in the full roof, but I think it's just a lip. So that right there, I think, is all it really needs to be able to do that. Next, let's talk about how this is over here. They have this stone walking path it seems going to their backyard of some sort so i think that this right here communicates that effectively so when you look at what they have and what's going on here first we need a little bit more of this but 
you can tell that we have this in place. This is the entrance right here. The door is all set up. The front window is looking great. There is the curb in the back here that looks like it's almost like a meter low, so that works. There's the garage that looks fine with the motion light, the little um, line going across, the little detail, I guess you'd say. They have this thin, thin roof up top with this little balcony up here. I think it looks really good. What they also have is a fence going on the side. So let's go in here, grab a birch fence because it looks fairly light to me. It looks like they might have painted it white or a very light brown at some point. And I think birch works really well with that. Maybe a light gray. So just going right along the length of this and trying to line this up so I don't have to think. There we go. Not thinking. I think this looks pretty good. Now obviously there is other things we can do. For instance, they have this, um, I'm going to break that. They have this little bit going across here that's pretty similar to it. So we're going to put that back. And I think that looks about right. Now obviously the way they have it is it hugs tight here and then goes out. But we don't have an option with that. Maybe if we brought the roof out by another one. But I think this communicates it and cult really just hammers home what this house looks like. Yeah, we didn't include the interior or the details on the inside. But you guys know how to do that now. So I think this is it. Thank you guys so much for stopping in on this series. I greatly appreciate it. So from my house to yours, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate something else, Happy Holidays. Well, I hope you had happy holidays. And, well, if you don't celebrate anything at all during this time of year, I just hope you had a great day. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys back, well, with whatever you guys want to check on the channel. Oh, we'll download those down in the description. So, check that out. Goodbye!